Now, Renee, Wiki is quite the departure from any of the roles that I've seen you in or I've seen you play. Where did you draw upon that inspiration for her? She was truly unlike any other. I, uh, they would put a wig on me. I've actually cut my hair like one of those wigs because I loved it so much and put me in some amazing clothes. I actually loved that flashback moment. I loved going back and forth between being that girl that's 20 that's so optimistic and being, you know, 20 years later and feeling jaded and trying to find, find something to believe in again. I loved doing that so much that that, that was just such a, a jump start for me, even in my personal life. And, and it just felt like um, that's the part of the character that I could relate to. And so um, playing this person that was so self-absorbed, so, so a kind of obnoxious, could not remember the names of her best friends. I mean, uh, that, you know, because I understood the core of who she was, um, which was just like so desperately wanting to make something of the talent that she feels God gave her, it was easier to do, to do the departures. It was easy and fun. For sure. And you two with your musical backgrounds, Renee, Angelica, Skyler, Sarah, I've listened to all your albums, Waitress, amazing. Where did, did you guys have an opportunity to kind of give a little insight, you know, with your musical background into the show and into the storyline of Girls by Eva, Five Eva and where did that come up? They were, I would say that the creative team was always very um, inviting of our feedback and our experience. And I think what they did that I think was so brilliant was they really stacked the decks with people who are really naturally musical, Renee, obviously, but also Busy and Paula. I didn't know that they were so musical. So then when it comes time to sing, like our, our singing scenes, I remember the first time where I was, I was thinking like, oh, we'll probably have to like replace all of our vocals because, but then everybody sang their butts off. I was like, oh, they're all very musical. And we obviously have Ashley Park and, and Erica Henningsen and people who are really, really, really good singers. Um, you know, yeah. the whole, the, go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I was just gonna say, you know, they were they were so welcoming. I mean, you know, Sarah's not mentioning that she wrote like a huge hit song that kind of ends our whole series. And, uh, you know, they were more than like, you know, would you want to do this? It was like a light. It was a dream that she would do it. And for me, I would show up to work some days and there I would there would just be a, a line of a song that wasn't written that I was that was referencing some song that was in our history. <laughs> And uh, I would just like get on the set in the middle of the scene and just like, throw a melody onto these words. And seize uh, the tonight, the tonight. Uh, but the beauty of it is that like the love that you would feel no matter what came out of your mouth was so encouraging. Um, it you know it just made you feel that you could boldly do it every time you were called upon to kind of improvise. Um, Improvise 90s songs. I mean, who gets to do that at work? Oh, Improvise so 90s songs. If you had to be in any iconic girl group, which would it be? And Sarah, I'm going to start with you and pass over Renee so we can wrap. Oh, if I'm going to be in any iconic girl group? Well, I mean, like, just to get to sing with Destiny's Child one time, if they would just let me tag along and just sing, I could even just, like, be you know, just next to them for a minute. I would love that. I would love yeah. that. Yeah, I, I typically say TLC and they're such an amazing group, but I, I can't not say Destiny's Child just because then they would be my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Thank you guys so much. You guys are phenomenal. I really appreciate your time and have a good one. Thank you.